everyone and welcome back to ptm racing tv we are live here tonight for pedal to the metals racing league light model series as we are now in season two of week two the adventures are growing further and further the i racing series and tonight we go even further as we bring you guys this big 120 lap race here in the late models of Th at thompson speedway with tonight's race being brought to you in part by matt mills racing team mid cities air conditioning and heating affordable seo and marketing Amber's Florals Creations, Bob's Custom Trophies, Sim Racing Merch, .com, Pottles Wraps, and our good friends over at McConey Setup Shop. They have all brought you guys, these drivers and these stars and the cars to go on this one as we bring them on out. Let's get our field of drivers stacked and racked and all that. Let's get them on down. This is the 91J of Jax ja Action Jackson Allen. And as he'll start on the pole with Kayla McCarthy in the 24 to his outside. 
Row two, that's going to be the Rattlesnake. Robert Kahn in the Quaker State 21 it is outside that five of Miss Chantel the Throttle Poddle. Row number three, Matthew Hoffer in the 84. It is outside the 79. Jesse Baker. Row four will be Daniel Hutchinson. The two to his outside will be the three of Lance Brandlinger. Row number five is going to be Warren Young in the 11 and the 13 of Cooper Rollins. In the Grave Digger machine, the 20 of Jeffrey Oaks round out that end here with Dustin Rouse to his outside. And our shotgun drivers on the field, Cindy Taylor in the 7. The 30 there, Dustin Rouse. The Shane Ledoux in the 55. And the 51 of Michael Hill will round out our top, our drivers here tonight for this action pack tonight. We got them situated out here. We're ready to go here down out of turn 4. We are set to go. Green flag racing as you get a good look at the stars and the cars. Oh, there are fine pieces of gallery and artwork. And I'll tell you one thing right now. Going in next week, they've got a little special Halloween scheme coming for you. Although one of them's already kind of dressed up for Halloween. As that Cooper Rollins 13 machine is already kind of looking pretty sick out there. I'll say that much. And nevertheless, we'll work them on down the back straightaway here. And we are about ready to go green flag racing here. 120 laps to the distance. This should be a good one. Stitch away him out. They're going to get ready. Base car comes off. They're going to get tanked in down out of turn four. Waiting for the green flag to fly. They tone it on in. Get everybody in position. Waiting for the green. Green flag flies. We're off and running. Off the line through the chicane. Down to turn one we go. Immediately off that star. Kayla McCarthy runs the outside line over there. Jackson Allen. Jackson tries to hold the inside away from her. Here comes McCarthy in the 24. Working him on down the back stretch. Down out of turn three, they'll go down back to end of turn four. They'll hang it on in here. Jackson Allen in the 91J doing battle here, trying to hold on to the race lead. Last week's feature winner has got company. The pride of Texas is on a hunt, looking for a race win here in the first time in the late miles with Chantel, the throttle bottle on the five, right behind all of them. And McCarthy gets a good run there out of the back straightaway, finally overtaking Jackson Allen. They're out of on the back stretch of turn two to the th turn three they go. Out of turn four, they'll swing it out, bound and around. We've got battles coming from each way in every direction to Sunday. That's Matthew Hoffer in the 84 does battle there with Daniel Hutchins on the number two machine. On down around they go. Here they come in. So a little bit of a war of nutrition here and see who can get the advantage here as Cooper Rawls at 13 gets a little bit loose there on the back stretch. Mance has recovered nicely while the Chevrolet 55 of Shane Ledoux brings it on back and around, trying to get in and a hunt. A little bit of contact made by the drivers there. They're able to hold it out there and keep it stabilized. They work him on back down around. They'll get him going here further and further. Robert Kahn has blown a motor, though. Something gone wrong for him here. Robert already out, but he does have a fast repair he can use up. He's going to have to get in there quick and get it done, though. Meanwhile, back up front here, Chantel, the throttle pile, just kind of hanging in there while the 79 of Jesse Baker pulls up on her a little bit. Starting to get some momentum there on the front stretch. Might be trying to think it's time for a pass here and early going. We'll see how that plays out, but they bring him on down around turn two here, and Daniel Hutch is in that two machine. Man, is he in a hunt right now. He's got some serious company in his pocket right now. Matthew Hoffert and Jeffrey Oaks here. Jeffrey Oaks and Matthew Hoffert, two longtime veterans of the series. And battles are unfortunately not what you thought you were going to see there as Daniel Hutchins gets a huge little block into the 84 of Matthew Hoffert. And unfortunately, Jeffrey Oaks involved in that one too. That brings out the caution. Well, not quite what we wanted to start off with, but let's go ahead and take another look at it from another angle here on what happened exactly there. Here's the replay here as you work them on down around for the two of Daniel Hutchins, unfortunately, kind of getting tagged in there. Taking both drivers for a little bit of a ride there and kind of taking it out on each other there. And unfortunately, it was not quite the, what they were looking for. You see it again out of turn four. It's so easy to overdrive that corner and that turn. And unfortunately, it got Daniel there and it got Hofford. All drivers seem to be okay. A little damage on them, although Dustin Rouse maybe can't say quite the same, unfortunately. He'll go in down pit road and get situated out here. Jackson Allen already in pit road as well. He's going to fresher set of tires there. I'm not sure how that strategy is going to work out for him, but he seems to be blending this one as he goes here. So we'll work them on down around here real quick and get them situated out and see how this one plays out. Thanks again for everyone that's tuned in so far. Be sure to like us up and follow us up here on Facebook and then also on Twitter. Be sure to go and check out at League PTM or PTM Racing TV there and follow us there. 
And then, of course, on YouTube, be sure to subscribe there to see some exclusive content you won't see here on Facebook as our friend Doug the Dad Burns will broadcast those, those Green Mountain Grill truck series, fast and fun series, that is, as they'll bring him on down out to Texas Motor Speedway, Fort Worth, Texas, home to the pride of Texas, Kayla McCarthy, who is your race leader at this moment. The females, though, are battling it through here. Chantel, the throttle pile, man, she's, she's finally starting to find a rhythm here on this early going. Although I was told earlier by her crew chief, if you jinx her, that I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a few of a slaps to the wrist for that one so i'm not going to talk anymore about it we're just going to let it happen but warren young, warren young hanging in there with the 79 there jesse baker and right in front of him warren rocking the monster energy beast 11 machine here tonight seems to be working good for him there but as they bring him on down we'll get him situated out and ready to go for the next go around well, tonight's race has been brought to you in port part by, of course, Matt Mills Racing Team. Matt Mills Racing Team, best Xfinity Series team out on the track at the moment with all their tech and family behind them. If you guys want a team to root on and cheer on every time on Xfinity, be sure to look up Matt Mills Racing Team. Matt Mills is a proud sponsor here of the Pedal the Metal Racing League Series, and we are proud to have them on board. And of course, our good friends over at Mid-Seas Air Conditioning and Heating. If you guys need something done in the Texas Bay Area and need to get it all taken care of there, They'll do it right the first time. Hit up Mid-Seas Air Conditioning and Heating for more information. Our good friends over at Affordable SEO and Marketing. It's time you outrank your competition today with Affordable SEO and Marketing. And then over at Ambrose Floral Creations LLC, call up the number there on the screen at 321-228-3135 if you're in the Florida Bay Area. Be sure to visit them up. They can get you some set of flowers and gifts that only your loved ones could, uh, could go for. Be sure to visit up Amherst Forest Creation for that special someone today. So as they bring him on down around, we'll get him back and situated out here. Face car getting off the track down out of turn three. We'll bring him on in on turn four here. We will let the drivers get back on it. As they come down that front straightaway, back on the hunt. Here we go. Right out of the gate immediately. Chantel does battle here with Kayla McCarthy. The outside line seems to be working quite well. That's very ominous and rem remnant to what happened in the Legend Series. The outside line off the start was actually the better line to run off of. But if you can get that bottom line situated in, you had a chance there. And they're really working them on down that back straightaway here. Whoa. That's Shade Ledoux in the 55 Chevrolet. gets a little bit hard into the wall there. Manages to save it, unlike Daniel Hutchins, unfortunately, earlier. And that seems to be the key factor as Lance Brandlinger in that three good wrench machine gets up there a little bit too. But now we work him on back to the front. The 79 Jesse Baker doing battle here with Chantel. The throttle pottle down out of turn four. They bring him on down. Here they come. Warren Young in the hunt. He's trying to get something going here. We'll see if he's got something coming for him here later. As they bring him on down out of turn four. Two, they go here. They'll bring him on that back straightaway here. Trying to build up a running momentum line to get back up into the hunt here. You hear some cars going by and back down there. That's because the drivers are kind of getting into each other a little bit as Matthew Hoffer now trying to bring it back from the back. And the 91J of Jack Action Jackson Allen is currently just dealing with the fact that he had a pit earlier. And now he's just seeing if maybe he's got something for these drivers. Working them on down that back straightaway here. They continue it on in. Down out of turn three. They'll bring him back down in turn four here. Hoffer swings to the middle, links to the low. He says, let's see where this one goes, Jackson. Jackson not quite getting the run there. He's looking for, although the strategy might be coming into play later. We'll see how that goes for him. We saw how he did it at Daytona. Can he do it here at Thompson? Right now, he's the most winning driver out of both series. He's won in ARCA, and he's won in late model. So he's the only driver to do that so far. But right now, if he wants to get into this one, he's definitely going to have to start challenging up a little harder because he's currently a good size and a half. He's a good second and a half away from Caleb McCarthy here. As Chantel, the throttle pile in the five machine, has to do battle yet again with Jesse Baker. Jesse Baker kind of falling further and further behind with that 11 machine there of, my, of Warren Young building up some momentum here, getting something going for the Down on that front straightaway they go here. They'll continue on back in. Balling up for the race lead. Your top five doing work here. Shane Ledoux still on the hunt as well as Cindy Taylor in the Amber Florals, number seven machine. Looks like she's just trying to get something going here. Last time she was here... She had a great finish here and a podium for Thompson, but man, she needs to get something get more here if she wants to get a late model victory. And whoa, contact made there up on Robert Cohn in the 21. And yet again, trouble just seems to be a brewing for the rattlesnake tonight. He's unfortunately got a little tag there from Matt from Matthew Hoffer in the 84 Red Bull machine. 
And unfortunately, that definitely has set him back quite a bit, but that just opened the door up there for Jeffrey Oaks in the 20 Goodrich service machine. Down back and around here, that Monte Carlo, good wrench, now works him on in. He's got momentum, he's got timing. Can he hang in there? He's gonna get, he's going for Cindy Taylor in that seven, but cindy has got the middle line, the apex line, the where you wanna kinda shorten the track out the most at. And you get the most run and the most speed off that line, it really helps you for the long run, but you can see Jackson Allen, man, he is just absolutely working that bottom line like it's nothing. And that seems to be doing him quite a bit here. He's got a good run going and some time build up as Jeffrey Oaks now has to be out of here with Cindy Taylor yet again. Taylor makes a bobble out of turn two. Now the door is open wide for Jeffrey Oaks. Back on around turn three. They'll bring it back down in turn four here. And Jeffrey Oaks now got the run off that line. Matthew Hofford maybe sneaking his way on in. All drivers giving it their all here, trying to work that cars in, trying to see which one will get the better of the late models. They have to be careful, though, on their fast repairs. They're only allowed so many of them. And right now, I can tell you, Robert kahn has got one left, and that's it. If he loses that, he's done for. And it's almost, we're not even halfway into this one yet. We're not even 25 laps in. He's just had some bad luck in these late models as of late. He just can't seem to get it going. But as they continue to bring him on down around out of turn two, they go. Cindy Taylor and Hoffer do battle here while Dustin Rouse and that 30 machine are at odds with one another. That's the battle in the back. That's your, really that's your top 10 doing it. Up front, the top four. McCarthy is somewhere else right now, and Chantel is just kind of chasing her down, seeing maybe she's got something for her. While Jesse Baker on that 79 machine is absolutely tearing it up, trying to hold on for real life here, maybe getting something to go on in to get around that McConey setup shop. Matt Mills Racing Sim SRM, a portable SEO machine of the five. I know that's not all the sponsors on her car, but man, that's quite a few of them at least. Bring them on down the back straight away they go. They'll continue them on around. Lance Brainley are kind of falling a little bit behind. Robert Kahn trying to get something going there with that 13 of Cooper Rollins and the Grave, dig grave Digger machine there. I want to talk about sweet looking rides. He'll have that coming out next week, of course, but he decided he wanted to give the fans at home something to look at for later as Robert Kahn makes a pass on around there out of turn out of the turn there for. Right back in the hunt. Driver's kind of starting to separate out here a little bit, but Michael Hill is not out of this one yet either. Jeffrey Oaks has got him right in his sights. On out around. Oh! Contact made there by Michael Hill, and unfortunately, right in to Jeffrey Oaks. Big trouble there, and the flagman getting word. We got to call the caution. A huge lick and a half there for Mr. Hill. A tough break to say the least there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. That was a hard, hard lick. Let's see where that started. What happened exactly? You can see that go, go, go. Number 51 kind of got some momentum built up and really working it in. But you see how high he is up on the turn there. He had to try to bring it back down, and unfortunately, he got it in too hard and too deep. And when you're bringing it down that quick with someone that's right behind you, it's not a whole lot of area and line you can get off of that. We're going to go on board here with Jeffrey Oaks. And we're going to show you the cockpit view of this one here when he went into him there. Here's another look at it from another angle. You see right there, just kind of tagged him on in and just gave him a nice little lick and a half. Done. Then the damage has been done. Thankfully, nothing too serious. He'll be able to bring that back out right now, but. Oh, boy, that was a nice little lick and a half. I think he'll, he's got some instant repairs in there. I think he's going to probably use that one up, but. I'd say Michael Hill definitely needs one. Unfortunately, that one is just absolutely hurt. But nonetheless, your race leader right now, the pride of Texas, Caleb McCarthy, hanging on in there with Chantel the throttle pottle is looking to try to gain an advantage and Warren Young is still looking for his very first iRacing career victory. Tonight's race is still brought to you in part by of course Bob's Custom Trophies. If you're looking to get something spe made special not just on trophies but also on a gift or a little decoration for a loved one or a family member you might know, well visit up bobscustomtrophies.com to see more information about that and what you can do to give to your loved one or your friend or family today. And, of course, also they are the folks that are giving one each driver of the series that win their series, I should say, a trophy of this kind. And these, these bad boys are Chris Caliber Price trophies. 
You're not going to get anything better than Bob's Custom Trophy Shop, so what are you waiting for? If you're looking to get something that's a decoration or a trophy that fits in your will, go to bobscustomtrophies.com to see what they got for you. And, of course, our good friends over at simracingmerch.com, simracingmerch.com. If you're looking to get your swag out on and off the track and maybe do it while you're in the car, well, visit up simracingmerch.com to get your stylized shirt your way and get your iRacing swag on. And then, of course, our good friends over at Paul's Wraps. If you've seen some of the cars on the track, more than likely they were done at Paul's Wraps. And if you're looking for the most affordable price range, graphics design, wraps, and dine are all there around, be sure to visit Paul's Wraps today for more information. And here's a little video also from our good friends at McCone Setup Shop sponsoring this tonight's race. At McCone Setup Shop, we offer custom built setups for any asphalt oval car. Prices starting at just $5. Weekly setups available for all Legends, Late Models, Modifieds, and NASCAR trucks, Xfinity, and Cup cars. Do you need one on one driver coaching? We've got you covered. Visit www.maconeysetupshop.com and find yourself in Victory Lane. Maconey Setup Shop, handling all your. As we bring it back onto the track now, we are ready to go. Green flag racing on that front stretch. We battle them on through. Down and about out of turn one, out of turn two. McCarthy holds the bottom a little harder than Chantel. Chantel definitely looked for something there, maybe to get a run around. Can't quite get there just yet. And contact made there from the hot throttle to the pride of Texas. Slows the cars up in the backfield there. They work on down around. That might open the door up to some of the other drivers. They're starting to pack them in a little bit harder. McCarthy backs off, tries to get more momentum off that. She's got something going to get around Chantel. Ah, trouble around a turn two. Trouble around a turn two. Lance Brandlinger in the three and the 55 of Shane Ledoux getting a nice little run and bump there. And that was definitely not what you wanted to see out of those drivers. Let's take another look at it and see what happened here. That was a little bit of a hard lick and a half there between the drivers there. Holy smokes. Take another look at it here from another angle and see where the trouble started. Looks like Brantlinger just kind of came down a little bit too much. And Shane Ledoux had no idea where he was at. And unfortunately, it ended up bringing them in and about. And they got into troublesome territory there. We're gonna go on board here with that 55 of Shane Ledoux. Let's take a look at it from another angle. Watch very carefully here as you see him kind of kind of rise in and then you see the Rantlinger just kind of tag him in there and went for a little bit of a ride and definitely some damage up on that front end. Nothing too serious though. Looks like it is very fixable and may not require a full on instant repair kit. Just a heads up for you, driver, for you fans at home watching. If you're wondering what are these drivers dealing with and what do they have to deal with exactly when they're on the track, well, guess what? They have only five sets of tires for each series. So, in ARCA and late models, all only five sets for each race. They're on 50% fuel, and they're also running on a fresh, clean surface in the qualifying that carries over into the race circuit. What does that mean? Well, it means it evens the playing field out for all drivers on the start, so they have a fresh set to work with and a fresh area to kind of paint their own masterpiece on how they want to do it. That allows for stronger runs and, strong and much more efficient work there, so I think right now it's definitely going to give them what they can. So as we bring them on down around here, guys, real quick, we're going to go into the comments section. We haven't seen anybody here in a while, so let's go and talk with them here. Candace B. McCarthy has joined us in, rooting on for her girl, Kayla. Well, Candace, right now she's been doing pretty good, but she's got some wrong roads ahead of her. She wants to stay in the hunt here. Chad McLaughlin joining in saying, have an, have an awesome race, guys. So far, it seems like it's been pretty good for them. I think they're enjoying quite a bit of all of it. Daniel Hutchins, unfortunately, the computer messed up and he hit the wall so hard. Daniel, hope you're okay, buddy. Hopefully you get that car and track figured out. And hopefully the computer will give you a chance to get back in this. And then our good friend Mark Sakosi from last night's Old School League joins us in saying, good to see the 24-5 and five out front early. Indeed, it is, my friend. It's been good so far. And again, everyone at home, if you haven't already, like and follow us up here on Facebook. Go show some love to the sponsors and go show some love to Twitter and YouTube of our, of our districts here. We have exclusive content on those areas as well, and maybe even a little bit more. 
the only way to find out is to go subscribe on YouTube and go follow us over on Twitter and like us and follow us up here on Facebook. We'll bring him down that back straightaway though and get him situated out here. The 11 of Warren Young will do battle here with that 20 of Jeffrey Oaks on this start here on the back straight. We'll see how this one comes out to be. Still damaged up on that 20 machine. Let's see how that affects him in the corners. They'll bring him on down out of turn four waiting for the green flag to fly. Coming on down around. And the one to go has still been blocked. They say we're not quite ready yet. Shane Ledoux is just now coming out of pit road, it looks like. So, we'll see if maybe he gets that figured out and situated in. I don't think he'll have time, though, to get his time back, nor his last back in this case. So, no, it looks like they will go on this time by. All right, folks. So, come on down out of turn three, going into turn four this time. And we are still under caution. I guess the flagman is not listening to what I just said in the commentary, for crying out loud. So without any word from the race officials here, we're not sure what's going on exactly. I think they're just trying to get the cars centered up and kind of get right in their right position here in their right area. But uh, without the radio command and controls here, we do not know. So we'll just go ahead and let you know your top six right now. Jeffrey Oaks in the 20, the 11 of Warren Young, the 79 Jesse Baker, the 84 of Matthew Hoffer, who just recently got his very first career PTM racing victory over on the Dirt Stock Series. And then, of course, you got the two-time champ right now, Action Jackson Allen. With Dustin Rouse in that 30, following in pursuit. One quarter of the way, one third of the way there. Let's go back right. Here down around out of turn one to two. Warren Young with a run and a half there out of that backstretch. He has now gained the early lead. He's never won on iRacing Circuit. What a way to do it if he can get it on the second week in a row for this one. Bring him on down out of turn two, four. They bring him on in. Oaks gets a little close to the wall there. Able to recover nicely and keep the car in stable shape. He doesn't want to put too much damage up on that car as that 91J of Jackson Allen looks in pursuit. They'll hunt him on down out of turn three. Going into turn four. Up high goes Oaksy there. Jeff Oaks, man, he went a hard charge there. He was looking maybe something up there. I don't know if that was maybe the smart move to do, but he's definitely giving it for what it's worth right now. Back on around out of turn one. They bring it back down into turn two. They go here. Jeffrey Oaks and Matthew Hoffert still doing battle here right in the back of the pack. The Friday, Texas, the 24 of Kayla McCarthy trying to get something going here as well. While Miss Chantel, the throttle pile, brings it down low on the inside there. A three wide salute almost initiated there by Lance Brantlinger and Michael Hill with Chantel in the middle. Not quite going to be the case. They work them on back on around. Now they're just trying to get back into the hunt with these drivers. Robert Kahn, unfortunately, having some troubles with this connection there. We'll see if that comes to plague him out later. But right now, back on around there, you get the Red Bull 84. Matthew Hoffer, who is not opting in to get that fixed yet. He does realize there's instant repairs he can use on that thing. And I know he's been at pit road at least once already. But back, back, back up to the front now. Look at this here. Jesse Baker now challenges the Monster Energy Beast of Warren Young. While Jackson Allen looks from the sideline in the shadows. He hides. He's working it on down. Action Jackson's tough to be when he gets it going. He's tough to team. And Warren Young knows it. He's trying to defend the bottom and the middle. But Jackson is just clearly trying to hit that spot up on the bottom and maybe get something going here. Working on down around out of turn three. Bring it back down into turn four. We go here. These drivers are still neck and neck with one another. Neither one seems to give an inch. As they bring it on down around out of turn two, they go here. Jesse Baker has to challenge up yet again. Warren Young's in the sights. Down around, can he slingshot straight to the bottom? Warren has to go up high to stay out of trouble. Jesse Baker for the first time tonight is taking the race lead. But Jackson Allen's not out of the hunt yet either. But can the go, 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 79, go, go, and get going already because he's got company right behind him. You can see the runs coming from that 11 of Jordan Young. He might be burning the tires in a little too much. Jesse Baker goes way up to the top. Manages to bring it on down to a three wide salute out of turn four. They said you shouldn't do it. Well, they did it anyway. They bring it on down to turn one here. Warren tries to hold his own on the bottom now, but he just gave a huge opening to Ashton Jackson there. 
Jackson's got himself cleared on the middle. He's got himself some run on the high side. Warren is starting to lose ground and momentum and lose pace. Jackson is just so tough when he gets it going. Warren Young right into the wall. They're out of turn four, unfortunately, and they're out of hang in it. Jeffrey Oaks now battles it on in for the third slot. He wants a podium finish. He has not been in victory lane or in the podium for quite some time. You know he wants to end that tonight. He'll try to do it. Battle here as Warren Young and him go out of here. Down out of turn three, going into four. Right down and around they go. Around the front straightaway here, but here comes a pride of Texas yet again. Kayla McCarthy, I'm not sure what kind of turbo she's running in that thing, but she is getting a full throttle assault to this car right now. It is absolutely flying by right now. Flying her rainbow colors to pride, of course. Definitely knows when she wants to get it done. She does it her own way, and she's doing it all right now. Bringing it on down out of turn two here. Jackson Allen is still in the hunt there for that 79 of Jesse Baker. But JC just gets right into the wall there out of turn two. That's going to open the door wide open to the 91J of Jackson Allen. Straight down to the bottom. Baker's in trouble. Jackson has a run. He's got a clear seam of his inside tire. Down and around. They battle. They fight. They do war. This is all on the 79 of Jesse to hold on. He hangs in there. Oh, these drivers are giving it all it's worth. They're fighting for what they've got. They're fighting for every position and every spot they can. They want to take home the hardware at the end of the season. We're almost at the halfway point. And Jackson and Baker are putting on a show. This is for the race lead here. They are just on each other like nobody's business. But right now in the back of the pack here, you can see kind of the drivers getting situated out. They're kind of working them on in as Matthew Hoffer tries to find a way around. Cindy Taylor up in the seventh slot right now. The seventh is in the seven, and right now, Curly just still dealing with that damage in the rear. I think that's probably what's causing so much trouble for him right now to get any momentum runs there. While Chantel, the throttle, the pottle, if you will, right now looks like she might be saving tires up, just kind of lying low, waiting for the right opportunity. She told me earlier today, man, I gotta stop focusing on what I'm doing on speedwise. I just need to start learning to save my tires, start taking care of the car. Right now, doing a pretty good job staying up in the top 10 area. And, you know, we're getting later in this race here. It might be time for a big run there at the end. We'll see how that comes out for him. Back on around out of turn three. We'll bring him down into turn four here. Jackson Allen yet again. I don't know how many times he's going to try to get him to the bottom here. But he's just swinging it straight there and just seeing maybe there's something for him. That 79 and Jesse Baker is giving it all he's got. Action Jackson is giving it a run and a half, though, to get the race lead away from Jesse. But Jesse just continues to defend that middle and bottom line so well that it's hard for Jackson to get any runs off that. Whoa, I bet I've overspoken a little too soon. Baker got a little loose there out of turn four. He ended up tagging the wall a little bit. And you can see the stretch. You can see the black marks on the track starting to build up. That means that track's getting hotter out there because they're burning tires up left and right which means that's going to get the car to kind of settle in a little less and it's going to have trouble to build in more momentum. And speaking of more momentum, here comes a full throttle assault here from Miss McCarthy. The pride of Texas, the Texas pride 24 is looking for everything she can here. Worked them on down around that back straightaway here at turn two. Oaks is trying to hold on, but Oaks knows when McCarthy wants something, she'll fight you to the end of your days to get that one. She's looking for the third place position to get up to the first as we got to the halfway point. Back on around, down, down, a turn one. We'll bring him in turn two yet again. And McCarthy is still trying desperately to get something going, something to build up. Jeffrey Oaks is doing everything he can to defend. But you can see right there as they go on out of turn three, a little high stakes zone. May have not have been the best spot to put it at because McCarthy just fast by. Worked that on in. They will get it going. She has got it going. But right behind all of them here in the fifth slot battle here, Dustin Rouse is looking to challenge the 11 of Warren Young. Can the Monster Energy Beast try to hang with it and try to stay in this hunt? They continue them on down around out of turn three, going into four to the front stretch they've been. The rest of the field is starting to build momentum up and ground to the top five. Meanwhile, the top four, really, they're in another zone right now. They're just kind of working their own thing in. This is very similar to what we saw with Arca a couple nights ago. They got it started hot, and they got it going early. But once the run came, that, rant, that run came. 
Chantel the outside out of the front straightaway now turn one battle of the females here Cindy Taylor tries to hold off but the Amber's 4-0 machine can't hold off that that's that SRMM Matt, Matt McConey set up shot Matt Mills racing machine there it's definitely got some kick up and got some build up wait a minute caution has come on out Lance Brandlinger and it looks like Cooper Rollins involved in this one more so looks like on the third on the three there of Lance Brandlinger. Let's take a look at the replay. See what exactly caused that one to come out here. Let's see right here. Cooper backs off a little bit. He's starting to lose momentum. He's trying to keep it low out of turn one and two. Where did trouble start? Right there. Brandlinger yet again involved in a little tag situation, but he was able to save that, but unfortunately, Rollins and him. Not quite the same there, unfortunately. Let's go on board here with Cooper Rollins and see what he saw when that when that situation came on by. So we get them all situated out here. We'll see what the camera shows here in a minute. We're just getting them all taken care of here at the. Here we go. So this is a situation right here. This is when the good wrench three of Lance Brandlinger unfortunately kind of tagged on in and said, "Hey, how you doing, buddy?" And unfortunately, though, Cooper Rollins is not too pleased about that. He does not like to be tagged like that. But nevertheless, he is okay. He's got it situated back out to the Gravedigger 13. Not the actual truck, the 13 version, but the actual the name of the, with the number of the car. Hey, you know what I meant. We'll get it back out, taken care of here, and fixed up. And Kayla McCarthy will now take the race lead away with Chantel, the throttle puddle in that zone. A lot of drivers going into pit road here. Strategy might be coming into play here. A lot of drivers opted in. And a lot of them are working their way back up. I believe Jackson Allen, Jackson Allen went in pit road, but neither, the, the females did not. So we'll see if the ladies have something here to hold off the men with. But we know what Jackson Allen can do if he gets it going just right. It seems to be working quite well for him here. At 55 is Shane Ledoux as well, kind of hitting it on in, battling his own thing up. We'll see if he's got something for the, in that Chevrolet machine and the 69 there, uh, or 69, 79 there of Jesse Baker. Currently in the go, go, go machine, is just seeing maybe if there's something left that he can hold off to get back up there with the front runners. They are ready, they are racked, they are stacked. You know, they're all that. They're ready for this one here. This should be a good one. We'll see if how they play it out here and how they get it going. But also, guys, remember, if you guys are wanting more action here tonight, well, we got you covered. We're not only going to be going to the Eldora Speedway here right after this race here on Facebook, but over on YouTube land, where we got our good friend Doug the Dad Burns joining the Green Mountain Grills Truck Series as they will go on in to tonight's action over there at Texas Motor Speedway, the home of, well, obviously that one right there in the pride of Texas, was it kind of obvious? But you want, definitely gonna wanna go see all that, so go subscribe over there and check all that action out. And then of course also, be sure to like and follow us up here to catch all the action here for the Dirt Series. Tonight is, our, is the Mississippi Dirt's last night before the season ends. And let me tell you something real quick, folks. It's a little spoiler. The, lead, the season championship is only spread out by two points. You're not going to want to miss that one. It all goes down here right after this race at Eldora. But we're back here with the Pedal of the Metal Racing League. As they bring it on down that front straightaway, they're off and running yet again. Who's going to make the bobble? Who's going to make the mistake? Neither driver seems to make a mistake there. John tells the outside. Jackson Allen in the inside there. Maybe thinking three wide. No, he does not do it that quick. He backs off there, runs it on down around. He'll continue his momentum in as all three, four drivers. I should say, oh, trouble there on the turn four. We've got one upside down. Yeah, I'm not sure. That is Michael Hill there. He spun it on around. It looks like he was up on his binders there. Flipped around. Chantel, the throttle pass the lead. And the producers can't seem to figure out where to put the cameras at, but they get it back up under the wraps here out of turn four. Sean Hill has taken the lead. Jesse Baker looks to the inside here, trying to bail it on in. I don't think tire saving is in the motto there for Sean Hill anymore. I think it's all just let's hold on to this one. Oh, trouble on the back stretch. Trouble on the back stretch. K 
Kayla McCarthy is upside down, and that is a gruesome sight to say the least. Caution comes out. Oh my goodness. Let's take another look at it here, see what happened. That was a hard, hard rollover. Can't, Candace, I do warn you, I probably want to look at this one. Let's find out what happened first, though. Looks like McCarthy just kind of drove up a little bit into Oaks, and unfortunately, put her on her roof. I'm getting word from the crew chief, though she is okay. But that was definitely, well, I wouldn't say she's okay mentally. I think she's a little frustrated about that one. But let's take another look at it from another angle. We're on board here. See right here, the battle's coming on in. She's just trying to hang with it, trying to see what's going good. Watch this. She, she just drifts up a little bit. That's all it takes. And then she's upside down. Yeah, you can just see the carnage. And unfortunately, we don't, we don't have a picture. We don't have a video of her face at the moment. But you can definitely know the disappointment is there in her eyes. She, she did not want to do that. She did not want to throw it up like that. And unfortunately, it got her at the most inopportune of times. Wow. Well, this could get interesting now because Jackson Allen's going to get that outside line there away from Chantel. So Chantel's going to have to do everything she can to defend that bottom off from that man. And Jesse Baker in the 79 is definitely proven he'll give it a run and a half. And how about this? Dustin Rouse in that 30 machine. He's getting a bomber in that machine right now because he's, he's bombing fools left and right trying to get in this. I think if there's one driver i got to give a gold medal to when it comes to endurance, I'll give that to Jeffrey Oaks right now. You see the damage up on that right front fender, and then obviously McCarthy kind of gave a little bit more to him there. And that's really been the biggest trouble there for him. And then Cindy Taylor, she had a great season last time in, in Legends. She has yet to really, in my opinion, really showcase what she's capable of, and I think it's only a matter of time before we see that. But right now, as they get them all situated out here, we'll get them fixed on around and see how this one goes by. But right now, definitely a lot of time at hand and a lot of work for these drivers to go. Well, real quick, folks, let's go ahead and quick cut to a quick commercial break here and let the drivers get settled in while we go ahead and give a word to our sponsors. Well, tonight's race is sponsored in part by Matt Mills Racing Team. The Xfinity Series team is sponsoring up Pedal the Miller Racing League this entire season. We want to say a big thank you to them. If you want to, go and follow them up on their social media platforms at Facebook and Twitter. And be sure to watch them live on NASCAR for the Xfinity Series. Our good friends over at Mid-Seas Air Conditioning and Heating, if you're in that Texas area uh, for, for the Mid-Seas Air Conditioning and Heating, be sure to visit them on in, and they will get you set up and cleared out with, air, with the air conditioning and heating that you need done right. And affordable SEO and marketing, it's time you outrank your competition today. And Amber's Floral Creations, LLC. If you guys are looking for that special flower gift for that loved one or friend, be sure to visit up Amber's Floral Creations for more information. And speaking of creations, let's get back to this creation of these drivers. They bring them on down around. On back out of turn one, down turn two. We talked about it a minute ago. Fresher tires will do the trick. And Chantel, the throttle ball, knows it. Jackson Allen gets a nice run there on the outside line. Builds up the momentum, working it on down in. Here comes Jesse Baker, the inside line now, tries to battle it up. Contact made there, Chantel on a turn four there, right into the wall. Tires definitely not holding up to her advantage right now, but I think she's just trying to deliver a full throttle assault back into the hunt. She has not had a podium or top five finish in over ten races. She wants to end that tonight. The last time we saw her in the podium, it was literally at Five Flags Speedway in the Legend Series, and her last win was over at Charlotte Motor Speedway. She's out for revenge. Jeffrey Oaks sees an opening there from Jesse Baker. Baker has to give the outside line in and gets the inside up. While Oaks now moves a huge run in. The last time he won, it was back at USA International Speedway on the season finale for the Street Sox, and he definitely had himself something going there. And tonight he looks almost kind of what he did. Ah, got caught. Might have got him a little bit jinxed there. I was saying he was looking very similar to what he did at USA. And unfortunately, I gave him the old broadcaster's curse and gave the door wide open to the bomber of the 30, Dustin Rouse. Working it on down around. He's got 79. Jesse Baker right in his sights here, hunting him down. And usually his airplane, it's usually those fighter jets that are the hunters now. It's him that's become the hunted. The go, 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 Sunday night of, of Jesse Baker works it on down that backstretch. 
And look at that, but Lance Brandlinger in that three machine has got something going as well here after all the troubles and issues earlier. It looks like he's finally starting to build the momentum he needs. But Jackson Allen right now is literally a good chunk and a half away from the race ba battlers here. Chantel is literally two seconds behind him, and he's just going further and further with this one. Pressure tires is really doing him the trick, and he just continues to outsmart the drivers out here. If these guys are, and gals are going to beat him, they're going to have to start figuring things in a little bit better. Down and around they go here. Matthew Hoffer brings it on back in, trying to get in there with the three of Lance Brantlier. But the good wrench number three denies any coverage to get in there. Now to the inside. Will he swing it on down low? Here he goes. Brantley are going to try to pull the slider from the bottom. Not going to get it there. Rouse gets a little hard there on the turn. And that's going to give him big troubles with Hoffer. Oh! And the motor just went on Hoffer, unfortunately. Two drivers involved in that one. Caution's coming out. Oh, Matthew Hoffer, I don't know what it is, but he just can't catch a break here tonight. Unfortunately, let's take another look at it here. Let's take a look at it from another angle. Let's take a look right here. Where did trouble start? It looks like Brandlinger gets a little tight. And Rouse comes down. Actually, McCarthy, you saw that in the background too. She actually got a little loose. Let's take another look at her angle and see where trouble started for her. Another look at it from another angle. Down the back straight away they go. They battle it on in. And it looks like Cindy Taylor just kind of bumped up a little bit. And McCarthy wasn't able to get out of that way. And Well, 13 and Cooper Rollins just dug her a grave in that gravedigger machine. Because they just pushed her on around. And that's where everything came in. Three drivers involved in that one, unfortunately. So as the drivers bring him on down around, they will get him situated out here. Don't worry, folks. We swear we're keeping them social distancing from one another. We don't ever intend to have anyone get sick or get in trouble. Trust us there. We don't like that idea. So they'll bring him on down around, and there'll be about 30 laps left in this one to claim. And I think that might have been the best time for some drivers to head on into pit road here. Jackson Allen yet again goes in pit road, and it looks like he's got another fresh set of tires. McCarthy looks like she's going to try and stay out and fight with what she's got. Interesting strategy on her, and we'll see if that comes back to play out well. As the rest of the drivers work them on in, we'll cut to another quick commercial break here for our word from our sponsors. Well, tonight's race again is sponsored in part by Bob's Custom, Custom Trophies. Bob's Custom Trophies doesn't just sell trophies. They sell decorations and gifts that you can give to your friends and family. For more information, be sure to visit up bobscustomtrophies.com to see what kind of gift or, or decoration you can give to your friends and family. And also, they will be supplying up the trophies for the season winners. Our season championship winners will get one trophy each. And these bad boys will go to one of them. So, again, though, if you want to support these guys at BobsCustomTrophies.com, they've got all the stuff you need from trophies to decorations for any season, any day. Then SimRacingMerch.com, also a ground sponsor here at Pedal of the Middle Racing League. They're supplying up some swag and some shirts that you can only find for the Sim Racing Merch enthusiast. So if you guys are looking to get all that, be sure to visit up SimRacingMerch.com for more information. And of course, our good friends over at Pilots Wraps. If you guys have seen some of these cars and designs, more than likely they came from Pilots Wraps. At the most affordable price you can get with the best graphic designs around, be sure to visit up Pilots Wraps today for more information. And then a word from our good friends over at Maconey Set Off Shop. At Maconey Setup Shop, we offer custom-built setups for any asphalt oval car. Prices starting at just $5. Weekly setups available for all Legends, Late Models, Modifieds, and NASCAR trucks, Xfinity, and Cup cars. Do you need one-on-one -on -one driver coaching? We've got you covered. Visit www.maconeysetupshop.com and find yourself in Victory Lane. Maconey Setup Shop, handling all your setup needs so you don't have to. And here we go, back on the front straightaway. It's go time with only 29 laps left in this one. Jesse Baker has never been in victory lane. He looks to try to end that tonight. He works it on down around Lance Brandlinger, Jeffrey Oaks, and Robert Kahn get into it. Almost a three-wide salute there out of turn two. They hold it on down, but that just gave the door even more to Jesse Baker. If he can keep the momentum going, keep the run here, he'll have something. Whoa, contact made there by Brandlinger to Jackson. 
Robert Kahn now is in the hunt after struggling with the motor and troubles earlier. He's now battling on in as the drivers get a little bit upside in there. Some drivers kind of tagging in there. A three white saloon engages out of turn three. They hold it. Ah, maybe not. Oh. Cooper, Ron, Shane Ledoux, and Warren Young tagged in that one. And unfortunately, not what they wanted to do there. Well, let's go to the replay. Find out what happened here. That was a horrible, horrible little break there. First off, let's take a look at this here. You see Lance Brantley here. He's already up on the high side. He's trying to stay out of trouble. He just knows something's gone wrong here. Rollins gets into the sit into the meat of the sandwich of the three wide salute. Pauls gets out of there. Rouse tags him. And unfortunately, that kind of started the chain reaction. And unfortunately, not going well for any of the drivers. I believe they have hurt. Oh, I believe the motors are hurt and those things. They're trying to get them situated out here. So we're going to bring him out again. I mean, we were a little bit, wor you know, for the folk, for the fans at home, though, I, I, Jerry, I challenge you and dare you to try and drive what these drivers are dealing with with these late models when there's considering that there's over 18 drivers battling for a season championship, battling for a win here, or excuse me, 15 drivers, and they're running on a track that's tight corner, tight paced, and they've gone more than half the race with clean green flag racing and hard, sh and hard battles in between. Try doing that uh, with your friends or your family or whoever. See if you guys can actually do the same thing. Because that is not easy to do, and that's very hard to master. No matter who you are, what you do, especially when you got so much, when you don't have as much room as you would in the Arca series to battle with. But we'll bring him on down around, guys, and get him situated out here. And the drivers will be ready to go yet again. And hopefully we can finish this one out with a bang or two. Mark Sikosi and Candace McCarthy worried about, of course, Kayla there in the early going there. And, of course, some of the other drivers. Window net did, the window net did come up, down, folks. She was okay. And she, obviously she's back out on the track, as you can tell here. Get a good look from her in there. There she is in the back right behind Warren Young. So a fresh set of tires to the drivers, and we're getting word right now from Michael Hill's crew chief. Unfortunately, the motor has gone. He is not going to be able to compete the rest of the night. A tough break there for a veteran driver of Michael Hill. We would love to have him back out here, and we hope he comes back out next time around. So as they work them on down around, guys, we will get them situated out here and we'll see what they have left in store. We've seen it all, it seems like. Some three wide salutes that went well, some not so well. And then we've seen hard battles and hard fought racing between them each. Robert Kahn, though, he's got to be careful because that blinking is definitely going to be a factor here on their end if they're not careful. Jeffrey Oaks trying to get those tires warmed up. He wants this win. He wants it more than anything. He wants to finally be say that one time was not a fluke. And on two different series, that's saying something. Bring him on down around out of turn four. They'll line him up, get him situated out here. Green flag flies. We're off and running yet again. If the producers have stopped getting the camera on the 21 of Robert Kahn, you can see the battle working on down out of turn two. They rick him on in here. All drivers battling back and forth down that back straightaway here. Jeffrey Oaks tries to hang in there to stay with him. He can't quite get the momentum there. Lance Brandlinger takes a three wide out of turn four. They clear it. Sean Till, the throttle puddle right around with Cindy Taylor in the seven. She makes a move around her. She's starting to gain some ground as well. Bring him on down out of turn two here. Battling on through. Will they keep this run going? And then they keep the momentum alive. Lance Brantlinger is on the hunt. He's on a charge. But you got to be careful when you do a full throttle assault on this track. There's a reason why. Oh, trouble there. Jeffrey Oaks into the five up. Chantel, watch out, bro. Look out, look out. Oh, 
not what you wanted to see and not what you wanted to go down and unfortunately it happened to be that way. Let's go to the replay. Let's find out what happened. It looks like Jeffrey Oaks might have got a little too tight there. The car obviously was damaged on it. It's hard to turn it when you got damage in there because that looks like the fender was actually getting into the tire there. You actually can see that there. He just got right in there, unfortunately. Coming out of turn four, he was trying to get the steer in and trouble brewed and the motor went on that thing there, unfortunately. And a tough break for all drivers involved in that one. That was not what you wanted to see in any circumstance whatsoever. Take another look at it here in the cockpit view. You can see the bows are hard right here, man. They're bowing on in. Coming down out of turn four. A little tap there, and Chantel just kind of got into the rhythm of things, and unfortunately, it just sent her on through. So and then you heard the motor go right there, and that was the end of it. There was no getting that back, unfortunately. Looks like he is getting a tow at the moment. A lot of drivers are actually getting a tow at the moment. So with that said, looks like we'll be down to our last 14, 13 laps in this one. Time is of the essence. Who is going to get what they need here and who is going to get the run that they want? This is just getting so dangerous and so hard for these drivers to stay out of troublesome territory. We had a great first start, but ever since then, it's been kind of difficult for them to get going. It's been kind of hard to really work that way in. So we'll bring them on down around, folks, and get them taken care of here. And we'll see what comes down. And if you guys are curious as well, we will be posting this up on YouTube tomorrow night. So be sure to look for that as well. For those that are still sticking around here and tuned in with us, thank you guys again for your support. P10 Racing TV couldn't do it without you guys. We definitely know the fans at home. We really appreciate it all. We'll work them on down that back straightaway here and hopefully see how the drivers get settled in and figured out. Some hard, tough breaks there. McCarthy will get her lap back, so I believe that's the lap she needs here. Cooper Rollins also getting his lap back and time back here. So we'll see how this one works and on in. We are going to initiate the one to go now. Still three drivers in there right now. Shane Ledoux looks like he's getting a full set on that one. Full repair done up on the car. He's all taken care of here after that blown motor and travesty. Unfortunately, it happened right in front of him. He's trying to get back out there and get situated out. I don't think he's going to have time, though. Nope, looks like they're going to give him one more chance to get that time back. All right, folks, we're not done yet. Be sure to share us up a little bit. Get as so many views as we can for these drivers here. They won all the attention for these last few laps. I'll tell you one thing. Now, these car, the drivers out there, those fresh set tires are going to help them for this one here. They need about two laps to burn in, and the rest works in perfectly for about 20 more laps. They've got time to hit up some serious runs and moments here if they get it done right. And just a half hour from now, we will be with the Mississippi Dirt folks. But they'll work them on around down out of turn four, three, and four. And out of turn four, they'll go. They will wait for the green flag to fly and hopefully get something going for them in this case. They need the momentum off this run. Who will get the advantage and who's going to get the run here? We'll find out out of turn four. We bring it on down. On down around out of turn one. We're bringing back down into turn two. Contact made there by Brandlinger and Robert. Robert has to back off. Brandlinger is on a hard charge here. The good wrench number three trying to get something going here to get up there with Jackson Allen. The 91J. Jackson swings it to the bottom there. Jesse Baker in the 79. Brings on down around. Contact made by the drivers there. The front stretch. And Jesse Baker spins it out around. And Robert Cod gets tagged. Chantel, the throttle puddle, barely avoiding danger zone there. Lance Brandlinger gets a run off of that. Oh. Well, that just opened up a whole can of worms. What will the race officials say? 
let's find out here real quick. Let's see if maybe that was an, an accident there on ax on Jackson, or if maybe got into Jesse Baker. See right here, they come out of turn four. Oh, that's hard to tell. And then right here, he just right there, he just got right into that 21 there, of Robert Kahn. And unfortunately, it just kind of started the whole chain reaction to begin with here. We'll go on board here and take a look from the cockpit view of the original situation here between him and Jesse Baker. These two are already at one another when they're coming out of turn one and two. A love tap there from Baker. I mean, this is a tight oval circuit track racing, but short track racing get pretty hard sometimes on them. Looks like Baker makes a bobble. And that's hard to tell, but I think actually, I think that was kind of a racing ordeal there. And then right there, that was just bad spotter call on the on the end of Jackson Allen's there. And then Brantlinger just kind of got loose and got his chance there to open up the door. Well, Jackson has gone down pit road. And I'm not sure if he's just going in there for a fresher set of tires and a repair there. It looks like that's going to be the case there. So he doesn't have to get himself an EO, he won't have to get himself the EOL penalty. He's just going to go in there and get fixed up. That will open up the door for the three of Lance Brantlinger and Chantel the throttle poddle and Dustin Rouse to see if maybe they can get it done here, get it going. The rain, the four, the last week's winner though, the feature winner, unfortunately caught up in a bit of some hard racing and hard battling and definitely not quite what you wanted to see on that end with the spin arounds, but now this will get interesting. My biggest question right now is do they continue to do double file or do they go to the single file restarts? Because they've had a few times now where they've Kevin get the full run in on a double file. I have talked with race officials before and I have been told earlier that they have thought about doing or a set amount of laps. If you can't get a green flag run in, then we go to single file. In the chat, Sakosi's asking real quick if how bad the fives damage is. Uh, from our angle, nothing on there. Looked like maybe a love tap was all it really gave, but that's about it. And then in the outhouse to the White House, let's go. Yes, sir. We know how that. We sure know a lot about that from your boys last night, I'll tell you that much. For those wondering at home, go visit up our page here and watch the old school league and just you'll know what we're talking about. They made schemes to, um, I guess, honor the me, the Crusader, and our, and our calls here on PTM Racing TV. So for that, I am deeply honored and obliged. But at the same time, it was kind of weird calling my <laughs> calling our own letters and settings here on the channel when it was on the car. But nevertheless, we'll bring him on down turn four. They're re-racked. They're restacked. They're all that. Will this be it? Five laps remain. They've got to get it going here. On down the hunt, down and around. Chantel has the outside line, but she overdrives it out of turn four there. A turn two there, I should say. Lance Brandlinger now has a little bit of a run to go with here and something to build off of while Dustin Rouse has to do battle with the seven. Of Cindy Taylor, Jesse Baker is on a hard charge right now after that little incident earlier with Jackson Allen. All drivers leading them on in, battle to left through, contact made there on Jackson. The 91J has spun it on around. Will they call for the caution now? I don't know because he spun it on around on his own. Well, I don't know. Looks like they're going to let him go here, but they're still on the hunt, still battling it through. A little bit of contact made there from the Pride of Texas and Robert Kahn. The Rattlesnake's got to be careful there. That blinking is getting a little bit excessive for him. But he brings it on down at turn two. Now finally makes a big change about. Down around at turn three. They'll bring him out in. Jeffrey Oaks still trying to hunt it down there with Cindy Taylor. Lance Brandlinger has yet to been in victory lane in a while here. And he's not done it in the late models. Chantel just wants a podium. She just told me that earlier. They work him on down out of turn two here. They will bring him on through. Can she finally get win number two in or will she go for the podium? I think she's just staying loose, staying cool. Doesn't want to do anything too too crazy. Ball behind him. Though. Oh, contact made there by Robert Kahn from Hoffer. And the white flag comes out. White flag is out. Now they bring him on down around. Jesse Baker trying desperately to get the final third position. 
down the front stra back straight away they go turn three tells the tale turn four says it all lance brandlinger will get his very first late model win and to the finish justin rouse barely holds out for a third place finish here tonight wow what a race Whoa, contact made there in the back as well. Some drivers getting into one another there. Holy smokes, my lord. Oh, heaven, that was some racing to be had. It may not have been pretty at times, but by God, it was fun to watch. And you can't disagree with that. We're going to go ahead and shoot it down to that last bit there with Dustin Rouse there on that lap and see where exactly they went into their hard charge there. Here's a replay of that real quick while we get settled in here with our chat. We're heading on down to victory lane here. We'll talk with you guys here in just a minute. Real quick, you get to see the fan review here on the shit PTM Racing TV side. Rouse, man, he just went for a ride and a half there. But nonetheless, he still comes out with the podium finish. And what a way to do it here on a track like this of all things. That was definitely something... To say the least here. We're going to take a look at that last few laps here with Lance Brandlinger and Chantel the Throttle Paul as well here. Just see what they were going through. You saw the trouble there with Jackson, unfortunately. It looked like they just kind of got tangled up in there a little bit. Jackson was trying to make a full throttle assault charge back to the front, but unfortunately not going his way. And I guess if you will, they just a little bit of a, a bad rundown on his end. And Chantel just not able to quite catch up there. But folks, we're down here at Victory. We're down here at Pit Side here. We've got Dustin Rouse in the chat. Let's go and talk with him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now down and about here with Dustin Rouse and that 30 machine. And Dustin, you got a copy there, Dustin? Hold on one minute here, folks. We'll be with you here in just a second on him. We're just currently getting situated out here. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring him on in here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got Dustin Rouse in the chat here. Dustin, you got a copy there, buddy? Yeah, I got you, man. All right, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, your third place finisher here in the podium, Dustin Rouse here. Dustin, man, I don't know what you had in that Bomber 30, but you gave a hard run and a charge there at the end going for it. You had a, quite a few battles there with some of the other drivers, but, man, it just looked like that final five laps, you finally got it settled in and, di and digged in deep and managed to hold off that 79 and Jesse Baker. Yeah, for sure, man. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to hold it off. It was getting loose there through the corners. Got loose off the corners, getting kind of hard off those exits there. And, uh, I mean, for a track like this, that's to be expected. It's very hard to really run that line and hang on there, but it definitely looked like you were kind of giving it everything you had there just to hold up with these guys. Yeah, for sure, man. All right, well. Man, a few words, but Rouse, I got to ask you, brother. You got yourself into the podium finish for the first time here on PTM Racing TV. Who do you want to thank for this one? I'd like to thank the sponsors, uh, Paddle Drives, Ambrose Floral, Mid City Seagram and Mayor, just to name a few. Absolutely, indeed. I think you made the sponsors pretty proud tonight, and I think they're definitely very very awesome to see you guys really going at it here tonight and good to see some good racing but nonetheless dustin out of it all third place finish here tonight your first time out congratulations buddy all right dustin rouse and the bomber 30 machine we're gonna head down over to the next side here with Chantel, the throttle apollo and the five and Chantel, i don't know how long it's been since we've talked to you here in the podium section much less than victory lane but tonight you almost had you were fighting there with that three of Lance Brantlinger, talk us through those last couple laps. Yeah, I was a drive about turning one on the racetrack here, so that's what was happen. I just had to pass on the body. It definitely is there. We kind of talked about Thompson a little bit earlier when it was kind of their middle line was the only section you can really get runs off of. And then the high section, you would lose it. And then bottom, you had a little bit there, but it was hard to really make passes off that. And it definitely showed there, but I mean, nonetheless, it was still looked like the car was holding up really well throughout the night. And you, for all the damage and stuff and the mayhem you had to deal with, you were holding out there pretty well. Yes, sir. Really was indeed. I mean, so we got we got to ask you real quick though on those last few laps there with all the kind of chaos and pandemonium going on, what was going through your mind there, just kind of thinking about getting into the top five, then thinking top three, and then maybe a win there coming towards the end. 
saving the tires. <laughs> Well, it definitely seemed to work here tonight, and it worked pretty well. But nonetheless, I mean, Chantel, a second-place finish here tonight. Uh, who do you want to thank here for that podium finish? All the best time for the future. All right, indeed, indeed. Well, nonetheless here, a good play, a good start, standing start, and a finish here. Finally back in, po in the podium series, it's Chantel the Throttle Poddle in the number five. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations again on the second-place finish. All right, we'll bring now we head on in to victory lane and we get to talk with this man right here, Lance Brantlinger in the number three good wrench machine. Brantlinger, you wore the seat, your street stock series champion right now. Now you're in the late miles and you got your first win there. How's it feel right now? Gratifying, <laughs> gratifying. It felt like a long time coming, my friend. <laughs> that was a great race. I didn't particularly like the track all that much and it ended up, uh, working in my favor at the end. It definitely did indeed, and it held out well and kept the momentum going. You seem like you're really kind of hard charging it in the early going on the first half, and it wasn't going as well as you'd like to. What was really the big change you had to make there on that second half to finally get back into the running and get into that lead there at the end? Breaking points. I changed my breaking points going into the corner, let it roll a little bit more through the center, and then I cut down a little more towards the inside and let it float out towards the uh, wall at the exit. So it, it actually helped me. My time got better. I was more consistent. And uh, paid off, man. It paid off. I'm, I'm exuberant right now. <laughs> Absolutely, indeed, man. You came out looking hard, looking strong, and that Taz Good Wrench Service number three, it all came to be, and it was definitely your night. So I got to ask you real quick, Lance, who do you want to thank you for this finish? I'd love to thank my family here. My son's always down here with me watching. Uh, also, I'd like to thank the Affordable SEO and Marketing, Simple Floral Creations, Bob Pe Bob Pepper Trophy, of course, Matt Mills Racing, uh, Mid City Air Conditioning and Heating, of course, Hot Potters Wraps, of course, and Roland's Auto Center Incorporated, and last but not least, uh, the Sim Racing. Uh, the Sim Racing Mark merch. Please, uh, if you have a chance, go buy some of their merch. It's good stuff. Absolutely, indeed, there. And we've talked all about it here tonight. Our great friends and sponsors and family out there rooting you guys on, hanging in there to the end, and really showcase what you guys were able to hear do here tonight. But, Lance, you are the champion here at Thompson. You got yourself a race victory, and going into next week, i got to believe that's going to be some serious confidence for you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Absolutely indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your race winner here tonight, the number three, Lance Brantlinger in that good wrench service machine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to really wrap it up here tonight for our late models division, anyway, of Fiat Pedal of the Metal Racing League. But we're not done here tonight. Real quick on YouTube land, our good friend Doug the Dad Burns is calling the action for the trucks here. You guys better go over and sh show him some love and subscribe. That's definitely some time there. I need to go see someone over there right now, guys. There's some good stuff going on. And, of course, also to our good friends over at Matt Mills Racing Team, Matt Mills Racing Team, the Xfinity Series team that sponsored us up this season. We appreciate them. Over our good friends at Mid-Seas Air Conditioning and Heating, Affordable SEO and Marketing. It's time you outrank your service today. Our friends over at Amber's Foral Creations, Bob'sCustomTrophies.com, and, of course, their trophy that they will give to each series of the winner here. SimRacingMerch.com, Bottles Wraps, and of course, Maconi Setup Shop. All of them have been proud sponsors and are definitely helping show the way for these drivers and giving them every chance and opportunity to let them get something figured out and done right here. And we do appreciate them here from Pedal the Metal Racing League and also here at PTM Racing TV for giving them a hand and giving them some shout out. If you guys can, go and look up their stuff and check out their things. We'll see you guys next time out for these guys. They will come on Sunday night for the ARCA and then late models yet again next Thursday. But for now, we're going to head down to Eldora. We're going to see some serious dirt slinging mashup with the two points on the line. That is all on down going for the season championship. Who will become the victor in the Mississippi Dirt Series? From all of us here at PTM Racing TV, we want to say thank you, everybody. Be safe. God bless. Take care. And good night, everybody.